Not all Disney movies make you feel all warm and fuzzy. I am a monster, you know. He told you that? Look at me. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 darkest Disney films. Well, thank you, big baby. Why don't you come meet our new friends? Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the animated and Disney Pixar flicks that have the most scary, disturbing, and sinister plot lines. Number 10. The Fox and the Hound When a young fox's mother being killed at the beginning of a movie isn't the worst thing to happen to him, you know you're in for a depressing story. It may at first seem like an adorable tale of interspecies friendship, but Big Mama's warning that Todd and Copper are natural enemies lingers over the entirety of the fox and the hound until it finally comes to fruition. I don't want to see you get killed. Break him down, boy! I'll let you go this one time. In the end, these two can never be the best of friends, because one has been bred and trained to kill the other. There are a lot of sad and scary moments in this film, making it one you don't want to show to more sensitive kids. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Number 9. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad This movie didn't exactly make it into the canon of beloved Disney films, and it might just be because it's simply too scary for most kids. Many are familiar with the tale of the Headless Horseman, and this 1949 version of the tale manages to ramp up the tension leading up to his appearance in a fashion so effective that it still gives us chills. <laughs> the fact that we never find out for sure what happened to Ichabod Crane leaves viewers with an unsettling feeling that just can't be shaken. Next morning, Ichabod's hat was found, and close beside it, a shattered pumpkin. Number 8. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs as Disney's first major feature film, it seems that the House of Mouse was still ironing out the kinks of what kids would like when they made this one. It has, of course, become a timeless classic, but its themes are decidedly more sinister than some of its successors. The evil queen wanting to dispose of Snow White is pretty standard fairy tale fodder, but it's the part where she wants the hunter to rip her heart out and put it on display that has us raising our eyebrows. Bring back her heart in this. Number 7. Pocahontas There has been plenty of debate over the years since this movie was released as to whether it properly serves its purpose. Because we invaded their land and cut down their trees and dug up their earth. Telling the story of early colonialism in the United States is going to be a touchy subject no matter how you spin it. Even though for the most part, it's clear that the white guys are the bad guys in Pocahontas. <laughs> Not to mention, a major character is suddenly killed, and John Smith is almost executed. This is undoubtedly one of the heavier stories that Disney has attempted to tell. If you kill him, you'll have to kill me too. Number 6. Toy Story 3 The Toy Story franchise is known for tugging at our heartstrings, but the third installment in the series manages to go even further than its predecessors. But the thing that makes Woody special is he'll never give up on you. There are several times throughout Toy Story 3 where things seem pretty bleak for our favorite toys, with none being quite as horrifying as when it looks as though Buzz, Woody, and the rest of the gang are going to be burned alive in an incinerator. Ah! What do we do? Not to mention, this film's villain is totally creepy and has some seriously dark intentions. Something changed that day inside Lotso. Something snapped. She replaced us. Come on. Number 5. The Lion King Parents dying in Disney movies is pretty par for the course, but it never happens in quite as horrific of a fashion than in this 1994 film. Long live the king. Not only does Scar murder his brother Mufasa in cold blood by throwing him into a gorge of stampeding animals, he then goes on to blame Simba for it, exiling him from his home. But the king is dead. And if it weren't for you, he'd still be alive. When Simba grows up and goes back to Pride Rock to take what's rightfully his, he recreates the circumstances of his father's death to get revenge. Run. Run away, Scar. And never return. 
Number 4. Bambi How could a movie about adorable woodland creatures be dark? Well, for starters, the action kicks off when Bambi's mother is killed by hunters. Everyone is familiar with the basic outline of the story. But there's another lesser-known scene you may have forgotten about. When hunters are approaching, a trio of birds are hiding in the underbrush. He's coming. Hush. Be quiet. One of them is panicking and suggests they fly away, which the others quickly dismiss. She can't help herself, though, and soars out of their hiding spot, only to be immediately shot and killed. I can't stand it any longer! Number 3. Pinocchio Sure, he gets eaten by a giant whale, but that's not even the worst of it. As one of Disney's earlier films, Pinocchio definitely has a more sinister tone than what we've come to associate with Walt's creations. There's no risk. He never come back as boys. While there are a lot of scary things that happen in this 1940 movie, the worst has to be Pleasure Island, where boys can go to drink, smoke, carouse, and oh, get turned into donkeys. Mama! Watching one of the boys be transformed was terrifying when we were kids, and honestly, didn't get any less disturbing when we got older. Number 2. The Hunchback of Notre Dame Disney has made a lot of feel-good movies over the years, and this definitely isn't one of them. Where are you going, Hunchback? The fun's just beginning! There are a lot of unsettling moments in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, from Quasimodo's public humiliation when he's dubbed the King of Fools, to Frollo's creepy obsession with Esmeralda in his song Hellfire, where he talks about wanting her to burn in hell because he can't stop thinking about her. Talk about red flags. Destroy Esmeralda and let her taste the fires of hell, or else let her be mine and mine alone. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Operation Cleanup has, well, uh, failed. Wouldn't you know, rising toxicity levels have made life unsustainable on Earth. <laughs> Number 1. The Black Cauldron The 80s were a time of transition for Disney. No! Stop! By the end of the decade, they would begin the animation studio's renaissance with The Little Mermaid. But there were some bumps on the way to success. Sandwiched between The Fox and the Hound and The Great Mouse Detective, Disney released this film, which everyone has been trying to forget ever since. Arise, my messengers of death. Our time has arrived. Featuring an army of undead soldiers and an absolutely terrifying villain, The Black Cauldron stands out as being the most un-Disney-like film that the studio ever made. <laughs> with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.